Assalamu alaikum and what's up everyone? My name is Mandek and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do something a little different. I'm gonna talk to you guys a bit about my skincare journey, how like my what my issues have been in the past, some things I learned along the way, and in the meanwhile, we're also gonna do my nighttime routine. Because why not? Let's get started with the story. Where do I even begin? I have notes and everything for you guys. So basically, um puberty everybody has acne like i had a bunch of acne when i was like 14 and then i went to hargesa cleared up came back my skin was clear up until like end of 2015 beginning 2016 that's when my issues started to arise okay i am convinced that something happened somewhere during the end of 2015 that caused my skin to kind of break out and you know what i dead ass i dead ass like dead ass had a whole week where people were complimenting my skin consistently and not a single soul soul said mashallah which is like at least like something you know not even with the allahumma barik laha like even mashallah is something so all i'm saying is if any of you guys pull up to me compliment me on my skin without saying mashallah get ready to catch these hands get ready Get ready for a fight. Because we're not we're not playing games with Evil Eye in 2K19. I refuse. I'm not accepting it. Okay? So you better watch out. I started getting acne around like my jawline and then on my cheeks, which I never used to get. So it was really like weird. And it would be like the kind that you feel under like you can feel it, but you don't quite see it. It looked more like cystic acne more than anything. It really, really hurt, like, along my jawline. Like, it was very sore and tender. When I wasn't wearing any makeup, you couldn't really see anything. But the second I apply something, you can see, like, a difference. It would... Everything would be flat until you see, like, these massive bumps. These protrusions coming out of my face. So I would get, like, little pimples around my face. And, like, little white ones around, like, my cheeks. You know, the pipes that's supposed to be all cute. And like where the highlight and the contour hits, you I would get pimples. And I'm sorry, like that kind of ruined my vibe. So obviously, like I've tried different face washes and things like that. None of that ended up working for me. So in the beginning of 2016, I went to go see a doctor. They put me on an antibiotic. And I don't know how to break it to you guys, but my skin did not get better. So like it would be very weird because my skin would be clear for a couple of days. And then I would get like acne everywhere. I would try different masks and things like that and none of it really like treated the issue like i kind of just thug thugged it out so i just accepted the fact that i had acne until like 2017 where i finally decided to get my act together so i just went to go get another set of antibiotics in 2017 and during the summer because that summer like my skin really flared out more than the year before so i went on those antibiotics for two months i found that it really really worked for my skin and not only was it an antibiotic pill that I had to take once a day, it was a cream that came with it. And using those two combined, my skin really, really felt better. It was fine until this following summer, so summer 2018, where it would like come back a little bit. Never came back as bad as the way it was a couple years ago, but it still kind of came back and it still kind of affected my self-esteem. Which isn't good, honestly. Like, people don't talk about it enough, but skin issues really affect your self-esteem. Like, you don't feel good when you have, like, a bunch of things on your face that you can't control and you feel like everybody's looking at you. It's a long battle. And my love want to make it easy for all of us. And when they tell you to drink water, like, oh my god, drink water and that's gonna help you fix your skin. Lies. Lies. I see what you're doing. You're, you're not slick not slick whatsoever water 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 as if you're not drinking coke on the weekends as if your diet isn't 70 percent coke girl just say you have blessed jeans and move on like it doesn't need to be a skincare ad every single day time you open your mouth it was only in the beginning of this year where i started using like some different products to kind of test out what's up so I started using some ordinary products this year and I saw some really great results with it. So this takes me into like the second portion of it, which is kind of tips that and things I've learned along the way. So I have them listed right on my phone. So let's get into it. First thing I learned, know your skin type. Listen, some people have said I have dry skin. Some people I said I have regular skin. Fam, I don't care. 
listen if it, if it doesn't suit me it doesn't suit me i have oily combination skin i've accepted it i know that sometimes my t-zone is hella greasy so greasy that you can fry something on it i just know to carry some extra blotting paper or tissue paper to kind of mitigate that second thing is do not touch your face alhamdulillah i'm doing better with not touching my face now but like usually i'm scratching my eyeballs i'm touching my face i'm like touching areas i shouldn't be touching you don't know what type of germs are in this world and you don't want to find out by seeing what happens to your face with it next thing i learned is you guys dairy Ooh, me and Derry were boxing. Honestly, tell Derry to meet me outside because that shit is delicious. That shit tastes so good, but it's so bad for you, okay? All I want is some good vegan cheese, not some plastic tasting shit. Like, nobody wants that, okay? My weak points are cheese and ice cream. If you catch me in the streets eating ice cream or eating something cheesy, mind your business. I just take my L. I just accept the L whenever I eat dairy. Same thing goes for greasy foods, you guys. You can't eat onion rings five days in a row. Pretty sure it's bad for your heart, but that is not the issue right now. The issue right now is what it does to your skin. That greasy th food that you're eating will cause acne. I'm telling you, and if you, it doesn't cause acne for you, same mashallah allahumma barak laha because you're blessed you don't pop your pimples i've done that you can see scars on my face because i've done that um, am i gonna stop doing that at some point yes inshallah head but don't pop them don't be like me be better than me don't pop your pimples and do not hesitate to see a specialist you guys i've been meaning to do this for like years so i'm way pushing that to whenever i'm I'm ready or I want to spend that much coin on my skin. That's all for the tips that I have for you guys for now. Um, let's get into the good stuff. So Spectro. Spectro face wash is my friend. We have become very, very close in recent years. And I'm very happy that Spectro has decided to come on board on my skincare journey. This is the only face wash I've been using for two years. Um, I already washed my face already. So I'm not going to use it again, but this is really, really good for me. It's for blemish-prone skin. Next thing on the list is our handy-dandy Witch Hazel Toner. I'm really a good fan of this. It doesn't leave you the most hydrated, but it definitely does, like, make you feel better. Like, I don't know. I don't know exactly what toner is supposed to do, but it just makes me feel like there's something on my face. <laughs> I'm not good with this. This is, I think, the most recent addition to my skincare. It is aloe vera. So I don't mind this. It does leave me feeling dry, though. So I definitely have to moisturize right after. I'm going to have to loosen this so I can get, like, all of the areas that need to be gotten. So the first thing I use is hyaluronic acid. Um, I know it sounds like it's acidic because it's called, there's acid in its name. So hyaluronic acid is for one of the first things that I apply. This is my favorite thing by far. It makes me feel super, super hydrated. My skin just feels like plump and juicy. That's a very weird word to use to describe skin, but it's just plump and juicy and it's just ready for the world, but also ready for bed. All I know is that my family really appreciates seeing my skin fresh because then they don't have to make fun of my skin so i put a few drops in here mix it in your hands and then just blend it in so that's all over my face my face feels like ugh, i just love this feeling will i like it's just such a good feeling the next thing i'm using is lactic acid 10 percent um i used to use the five percent and it was really good but i thought i'd level up and just challenge myself a bit more as you can see like i use this so much that it's like practically empty i need to get some more sometimes i just use the applicator and pour it on my face i use hyaluronic every day but not lactic i alternate so the next thing that i use is niacinamide zinc one percent i just got this not long ago and i'm obsessed this has really helped with the texture in my forehead, which is, for right now, is one of my biggest issues. 
Because for the most part, the things that come out on my cheeks and things like that are things that are based off of um, how bad I'm eating that week. But my forehead texture, though, is not cute. Alhamdulillah, it's not bad. But it's also, like, not where I want it to be. So I'm kind of using this to kind of balance it out. So you mix it and you blend it in. Blend, blend. to stop being weird fix this hijab i'm not trying to do that hair out hijab look no offense and the next thing is alpha butrin so this is for the hyperpigmentation on your skin i always use the applicator just because i don't want to put it all over my face also if i'm using these products wrong let me know this is kind of like my diy i based the products that I'm, i got from my youtube video okay this is all mixed in and you can see i'm starting to glow next 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 alpha lipoic acid be careful with this one you guys this one burns and tingles i don't know if that's what it's supposed to do but i just know that that's what it does for me only use it twice a week don't get it on your lips and this gets rid of like old for me it's gotten rid of like that darkness around my mouth i only do it like in very specific areas like around my mouth and then I rub it in. Keep in mind, I don't use alpha lipoic very often. I use it maybe once a week at best. And I don't use lactic acid as much anymore. But I definitely use alpha arbutrin at least a couple of times a week. Nice and mine almost every night. And hyaluronic acid every night. After all that, I generally don't hydrate because I feel like my skin's already hydrated enough with all the products. But sometimes I use my tea tree mask from the Blood Body Shop. This is like the second time I got this and I highly recommend getting um, the actual oil from the body shop because that has worked wonders for my skin. Like whenever I pop a pimple and put the actual oil over it, it dries it out right away with barely any scars left. Hey guys, so I've obviously switched from my camera because my memory card is full. But yeah, like this is kind of what I use to kind of mitigate everything and just to help me feel overall better about my skin. At the end of the day, you just want to feel good about yourself, you want to be feel good and confident and you just want to be happy with the end product so um if you like this video like comment and subscribe i hope you kind of like this content like it's a little different than what i usually do but seriously guys though um let me know what you think it really really matters to me i don't know what direction i want to take this channel so you're gonna see me experiment a lot but i hope you don't mind i hope you stay along for the ride after that rhyme i'm a goddamn poet um let me put my retainers on and let me just go to bed because it's Oh, it's 1 a.m. in the morning and I don't think you want to see like you don't there's no reason you should see this face at 1 in the morning I'm sorry I don't even want to see this face at 1 in the morning so I'm gonna just gotta end on a whoa bye guys hope you enjoy catch you next time with some brand new content honestly by the end of the video the world is gonna be expired and that's